just uh, a, sh a, a short uh, introduction uh, on the Catholic University and Altis, which is the context uh, you enter once you uh, will decide to be part of the uh, SMGB. Um, Catholic University is the Euro Europe's uh, biggest uh, private university. Uh, Today we are, uh, it's uh, going on our uh, 100 uh, uh, academic year. Uh, we have five campuses in Milan, Brescia, Piacenza, Cremona and Rome. We have two faculties uh, and 42,000 students per year. We also have eight uh, graduated, uh, postgraduate school and uh, they are, um, what can I say, uh, center of excellent expertise and excellence on main topic. Altis is one of these uh, eight uh, graduate school and we are focused on uh, um, uh, sustainability, better say entrepreneurship and management uh, and the sustainability for uh, sustainable growth. Um, we offer education, consulting and research activities and we try to forge new ideas and networks on this uh, uh, for the, 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 the creation of shared value. Uh, today we have 11 masters and MBA in Italy, we have uh, 17 masters abroad, we have some uh, uh, short and, and executive uh, courses. Um, we have a quite huge uh, network of alumni because we count today uh, about 6,000 uh, uh, alumni and we have a lot of uh, companies uh, that we uh, we work with. We have, uh, may say, three, uh, hundreds of companies that every year are engaged in uh, some kind of activities with uh, Altis. Um, we think that between research, consulting, and education, there are uh, a, a quite a nice uh, virtual circle because. Uh, uh, thanks to the synergy among the, these tr three uh, activities, we can try to uh, innovate uh, uh, continuously. We can um, have a practical approach and we, uh, we can try to focus on frontiers of knowledge. And this kind of synergy, um, it's quite uh, uh, a good opportunity for the students that decide to be part of our classes because uh, you can have the opportunity to take time to get some no more knowledge and practical pr uh, competencies that you can uh, use and practice immediately once you enter the job market. Uh, it's an opportunity to, to um, uh, enrich your network and the relationship also between uh, your classmates. And it's an opportunity to, to have uh, dedicated staff and faculty that uh, will be uh, at your disposal to try to get deeper uh, on the main topic of the master. But let's go on and try to better understand what does uh, uh, the Master in, in Strategic Management for Global Business is. Uh, so please, uh, uh, Matteo. Thank you. Uh, let's see if you can share with, with me the control of the slide. This is very good. Otherwise, I will say you please next slide using you, you like a clicker. I'm sorry for that. Okay, but if, if you can have the control is better. Uh, before start, let me say just welcome to Andrea and Taylor because I'm very happy to see you okay because we share a, a very a, a, from my perspective a very good path together so welcome back and thank you to be here with us and so I have to introduce myself a little bit and then we will go in depth about the main feature of this master I am a professor of the of the of the Universita Cattolica and maybe I'm the director from your perspective the director of this master the name of this master is Strategic Management for Global Business. So I want to, to stress the name because in the name there are, there are summarized all the main features of this master. So uh, if you can go back to the slide, please, to the previous slide. No, I'll, thank you. Uh, so what is the aim of this? Uh, sorry, in this, in this speech I want to summarize the main feature of this master and I want also to give you some idea of the outcome. But I believe that Andrea and Taylor can provide you a very fresh perspective of the content. So I want to be very, very brief in my speech, 
but I'm available for questions. But I believe that better than the, the peer to peer communication and the peer to peer experience, we don't have any kind of more effective communication. So Andrea and Taylor, they will be totally free to, to explain everything. So Andrea and Taylor, if you think that the master was very um, demanding, you have to say it, okay? You, you don't have any kind of constraints, okay? But let's go to understand better this master. This master is a first uh, level specializing master. So it means that you need to have a bachelor, not a bachelor necessary in economics and management or something like that. And it is a master that is totally taught in English. And starting in October, from October to October, but we will see later that the calendar is a little bit different and we understand why. But so far is uh, is a, a program that we have in, in Altis in our portfolio for from a long time. So we are we are close to the 14th edition. So we have a lot of we had a lot of, a lot of alumni from a lot of countries in our in our history. But the main feature of this master are two, from my perspective. First, that is a full-time master, and this is very important, okay? Because it means that when we design, when we, when I design this master, and we then provide the master, the idea is that you have all your day available to study and work. It means that is very demanding, okay? And it's very demanding and it's very concentrated because we will see that we have eight months and in eight months we will provide you a lot of both knowledge and skills. The second main uh, feature is that is a very practical approach to management. It means that you will have the chance to uh, discuss with professional you have assignment, you will have assignment, and you will practice what you learn. This is one of the main features I believe we have in this uh, master, and then the maximum expression of this practical approach is the action project. So the idea that you will, the end of this program is that you have to to work on, on a, or a work or we have different solution, okay? Or you will could have an internship, or you develop your own business plan, or you have a consultancy project or academic paper, but you have to to practice your knowledge. But we'll go in depth about this action project later, okay? So please, if you can go to the to the next slide, okay? Uh, again, wonderful. So the idea is that this manager, this master, is both for manager and potential entrepreneurs. Why potential entrepreneurs? Because typically it's a master that is after the three years you have in your bachelor. It means that you are quite young. But the idea that we want to mix both people that want to run their own business with people that want to run want run business owned by other people, okay? Managers, entrepreneurs. This is because the mix is very useful to have um, contamination because the managerial approach and the entrepreneurial approach are, are, are very different but they are very interesting. It's very interesting to have um, this opportunity to, to share the perspective of someone that want to run a business for someone else and the perspective of, of someone that is trying to start a new business. The idea is that we want you to, we want to open your mindset. So is a, a master that is for a global manager or a global entrepreneur. So the idea that you must be open to the world is something that is embedded in all our courses and on the content and on the experience we want to offer you. The main target is to uh, work in mid and big size companies. If you want to be a manager, otherwise it, to start your, your company. But the main, main the, the first feature is that is a, is a strategic master. So it means that we want to provide to our participants a strategic perspective. I am a professor of strategy. I, I don't want to bother you with the idea of strategy, but it's very simple. We don't want you to be an expert. We don't want to be an expert, okay? Don't to be an expert of one specific function, but we want you to be an expert of how an overall company, a world company works. So try to connect dots. Try to understand what will happen in marketing if we do this action in marketing, what are the consequences in operation? If we do this in operation, what are the consequences in marketing? So having an helicopter view of the company. 
This is the kind of approach we have always, always in all our courses. Try to, 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 to help you in understanding not the, the mid or short term, but long term perspective of the company. If you can go to the next slide, please. So these big claims drive us to have this structure of the master. Okay, as I told you, we, uh, the master will start in in uh, in October. But basically, the idea we have is to start with online courses. Okay, these are very simple, very basic, but very useful. Okay, because having these online courses, we can uh, offer to our students the opportunity to, to practice the minimum knowledge to uh, be successful in the master, okay? And this at your home, okay? This is something that we had starting from 10 years ago. COVID stressed a lot, the need to have online learning processes, okay? But this formula with the beginning of the, of the master with online courses is something that we are practicing. We, we, st we started 10 years ago, really. Uh, this is very helpful and is very, they are not so complicated, okay? Then in November, we start to have our classes, okay? Uh, as you can understand in COVID, we have some trouble in having classes. Trouble means that having students in class, okay? Because COVID has us to manage classes with dual mode, okay? But we are very confident that in the future we can have this need, we can go back in classes, okay? Because the main experience we, we, we had with COVID is that online learning is very useful, okay, but the, for the kind of teaching we have in this master, for the kind of work we want our students to, to have in classes, we need to have uh, students working together. As I told you, we have a lot of practice, and if you want to practice, you have to practice with others, okay? For instance, if you read newspaper, you, you maybe you read that JP Morgan, that um, uh, Morgan Stanley, they are asking to employees to come back in office because being at home is, is not the same to be in office. Okay, the level of creativity, the level of, of newest, the level of new ideas that you can have being together is different than being at home. Okay, then we have already online courses. Why another one, once another round of online courses? Because this is the time in which we have students starting to approach their action projects. It means that they can have an internship, they can have a business plan. So having online courses means that we allow students to move and have courses at the same time, move to companies, move maybe to their own country to have business plan or something like that. And we have these online courses, the action project, and we will focus on that later. And then you have to deliver your the, the results of your action project and you have your graduation. So basically is from September to September, but you are, we assume to have you in Milan from November to June or from November to September, it depends on the, the fact that you have an internship or not, okay? Uh, can we go to the next slide? Thank you. So this is the list of the courses we have, okay? I don't want to bother you. If you can have a look, you can see the exam we have online and you have also exams, okay, because we we need to, to assess if you have knowledge or not in your portfolio once you had the course. But we have in classes courses. This is the list of courses. As you can see, we have a lot of courses with the perspective of strategies. We have business strategy, corporate strategy, strategic marketing, sales strategy, Everything is from the per perspective of strategy, but I want just to give you some idea about two or three courses, okay? I don't want to bother you with all these courses. For instance, in business strategy, you will understand how it's possible for one company to be successful operating in one industry. Then, again, corporate strategy. How is possible to manage companies working simultaneously in more than one industry? So. And it, uh, addressing this topic, you deal with topic like m a for instance. And just to give you an, a, an idea of what does it mean assignment and work together, uh, this year our student worked for one big digital multinational company and they worked to develop an, an m a strategy for that company. At the end of the process, they, in, in class, we had the manager of the company and student discussed with the manager about the idea of M&A they have. 
Another, another course, entrepreneurship. Entrepreneurship is a, is a course in which we, we thought and we help you, students understand how it's possible to move from one idea of business to a business. Business planning, how to, to build a plan with numbers that is a proof of viability of your business idea. And having this business plan, you can understand also how to practice in a very good way, Excel, for instance. This because we try to help you in developing both soft and hard skills. Soft means also leadership, for instance, as you can see. It means that we try to have an over, uh, we try to support you in developing your personal skills and personal knowledge to prepare you for the, 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 the basically the job market. Can we go for to the next slides, please? The, the idea of action project, that is the end of the master, is basically very simple. Students and the hand, they have to prove their knowledge and their skills. So what they know and what they are able to do. Uh, every single student can build his or her own um, or path of development. The chances are different, okay? The internship. So we try to do our best to offer to all the students uh, we have in our master the opportunity to have an internship, okay? But to be honest, uh, you have to understand that uh, internship means that you have on the other side one company, okay? And the company must be interested in your CV, okay? So we do our best, okay? Usually we have good results in the number of students they have that could have an internship, but we cannot guarantee an internship to all the students that want to have it. Okay. It means that you guys, you have, if you want to join the master, we will do our best, but also you, you have to do your best. Second chance, the consultancy project. That basically is the same learning experience of internship, but not on, on the job, not on site in a company. It means that we every single year we have companies that give us real companies that give us some challenge and group of students, team of students tackle with these challenges, providing viable solution thanks to the support of one professor. So basically we have a, like a small consultancy team that has a leader that is a professor for one real company. But if we have a student, student that want to start a business, the action project, the final action project could be a business plan. Developing a business plan for his or her um, own idea with the support of one professor. So here is the work is I want to build numbers, proof of numbers if, to understand if my idea will work or not. Then uh, just to be clear, a residual okay, chance is the academic paper, the classical academic paper. Uh, I want to say that it's residual because I believe that in the next, I don't have specific data, but in the last 10 years, maybe we had three, four academic papers. Is residual when a student does, does want to have an internship, does want to join a consultancy, does want to have a business plan, or this is the one case or someone that because got this 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 program uh, start to think about different careers like the academic career or the or a, um, career in research that is residual four chances but the main one the two main ones are sorry the three main ones are internship consultancy project and business plan here you can more or less see because there, are, there is some trouble with the PowerPoint because, but this is sorry typical with teams, okay? That teams loves to to have to to destroy our wonderful pies. Here you can see that we don't have a very a specific focus on a specific industry or a specific function. These two pies show you the the where students had our internships by industry and by function, okay? We have a, a larger pie of, of, of student in marketing, as you can see in the pie um, bottom left, in marketing and in uh, internal audit, project management, process management, okay? But as you can see, we don't have a very big pie, a slice of the pie. 
and it is the same of in the in the pie of the industry. So the idea is that we offer to our students a broad perspective on internship in different in different companies. And if we can go to the next slide, just to uh, with this kind of graph, we can show you names of companies in which we had our internships. Okay. Uh, this is these are names that are not just the name of the last year, okay, the name of the last three years, but just to give you an idea of uh, kind of companies that uh, in which our student could have the chance to have an internship, okay. But uh, always to be honest, this is because I believe we help our students, okay. But our student had everything they need to be uh, to take the place in one of these companies. So we have students in Amazon because that student was very good, did a good interview. We help students to, 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 to pre be prepared to the interview, but this is not just our results, okay? It's the result of the collaboration between the school and our students. This is very important because I believe that being proactive, being smart is part of a job that we have to share we will provide support to our student. Our student will have one-to-one -one interviews. They will have support for the development of the CV. We help our students in be the best possible for the market. Okay, and I'm very happy that the, this kind of companies that you can see here uh, are the company that take our student. Okay. Thank you very much for being here to everyone. So I'm Sofia and I'm the academic coordinator of the master and we will work together through all the year from the beginning till the end. We were talking about the action project and the, um, the internship. Uh, as um, Professor Pedrini was saying, the internship is usually the uh, best option, the option that all the students um, prefer. And uh, here we can see some uh, some numbers regarding uh, the the internship and the uh, job opportunities of the students after the master. So as you can see, uh, the 90% of students uh, after the master work um, within six months uh, after the, the graduation. And uh, usually mm, the, the majority of the students uh, work in the, in the same place where uh, they had the, the internship. Talking about the class profile, as we said at the beginning, uh, this master is uh, the one international master of Altis school. So it means that, uh, as we were saying, everything uh, is, in, in, is in English. And we have uh, students from um, all different countries and from different nationalities. You can see from uh, the map, all the red dots uh, indicating the the countries uh, which um, from which our students come and it's almost from all over the world apart from australia and uh, for example uh, in this class edition we have um, the majority is uh, italians uh, due to pandemic uh, but we uh, right now have students from Canada from Panama Ecuador and other European countries and uh, despite the pandemic they managed to come here in Milan because for us it's very important the the presence in class so attending classes uh, here in Milan with us for example students coming from uh, 67 different countries uh, here there is also um, another data important, which is the average age of uh, the students in our class. So the average age is uh, about uh, 25 years, but we have um, students from, from different age. So it's not, uh, let's say, a problem for us. We have uh, students, for example, this year who are 29 or 28. And uh, regarding the work experience, usually the students who apply to this master uh, has um, one or two years of experience. Uh, for example, they had internship or something like that. And uh, regarding the academic background, students who decide to apply to our master uh, usually have an economic or finance backgrounds or business administration management but not only 
uh, we have students from with different academic background and uh, as we said before uh, we like to have uh, all different students with different knowledge and at the beginning of the master we provide as we were saying online courses uh, which provide the, the basics to some topics. So, um, for example, this year we have students uh, who graduated in engineering, in mathematics or architecture, and they are good students and they manage to, to attend classes normally. So, Pia, uh, can you just say one thing? Yes. As you can see, as you, as you know, I'm professor of strategy, so it's more or less like, like Risico, okay, if you know the game. <laughs> so we are close to, 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 to win, okay, because we, we miss Kamchatka, we miss mm -hmm. Oceania and something like that. But yes. as you can see, we had, a, we had a, a long experience of different cultures and we believe that this is a very big value we have in our classes. And we, as a professor, I can say that having an international class, you can leverage in your discussion in class a lot of different experience. Uh, experiences and that is wonderful okay it's a wonderful learning opportunity and bring a lot of added value in our classes sorry Sophia is just yes that's to totally true and yes I wanted to add it that this is a, a big plus uh, for us and I think that also our guests today Andre and Taylor they can uh, say for sure that uh, it's a very good opportunity because you can work together with people from different countries uh, different cultures and it's a very mm, big melting pot and mix and this is mm, this provides you not only uh, this means that the master can provide you not only academic uh, knowledge but also a real mm, human experience life experience so yes i totally agree okay yes um here Mm, there are the, let's say, uh, ideas, the opinions of our students uh, regarding the master. So uh, we were asking to our students of the past edition, uh, which are their ideas, uh, their word about the, the master. And uh, as you can see, for example, they uh, said um, international experience, so uh, what we just mm, told. Or, for example, uh, flexibility, interactive, um, also professor, because uh, our professors are really great and uh, all our students uh, always agree about that. And uh, also the diversity, which is one of the most important aspects of uh, our master. And also, as we were saying, this master is uh, not difficult, but it's very demanding. So we demand a lot uh, an effort from our students because you will be you will be very busy and uh, you will have to put great effort uh, during all the academic year. So I think that now it's better to leave the, uh, the, the word to our guests, Andrea and Taylor, because uh, they were mm, the main actors in the master and they can provide, mm, uh, they can tell us their experience. And uh, if you are ready, Andrea and Taylor, you can switch on your camera. Yes. Hi, I'm Taylor. <laughs> Ciao, hi. Hi, Taylor. Hi. <laughs> Andrea, I can see you, yeah. but I can hear you. Okay, great. Okay, thank you very much for being here. So, Andrea and Taylor, they are as alumni from the last edition of the Master. So, uh, we are very happy to have you here today. It's a pleasure for us. And uh, I would like you to talk a little bit about yourself, introduce yourself and uh, talk about the um, your experience during the the master. So uh, Taylor, if you want to start telling uh, something about you and where are you working right now? Thank you. Sure. So I'm Taylor. Um, I'm from the United States. I was in the master 2019 to 2020. Um, I'm currently in the process of moving out to LA for my job. Um, I'm an assistant planner at Savage X Fenty. And for those of you who may not know, um, it is an e-commerce lingerie company um, with a somewhat subscription-based model. Um, a merchandise planner at the company will look at the history and trends of product inventory um, to determine the appropriate stock levels that we want to have 
to one meet our financial goals, but to also make sure any consumer who wants to buy from us will have a product in their size available. Um, so some of my roles and responsibilities at the company um, is maintaining our daily sales performance reports, looking at our sales section performance and determining what inventory we want to move to markdown. Um, also, I work with our core product, which would be like our everyday essentials for bras and undies, um, as well as working with promos that we run year round. And we have some ones that occur all the time. So that would be like our undie bundles. And we work on how many units we sell, what it's looking like, what sizes. Um, and another big part of it is something that I'm still training for because it's very complicated is um, our size analysis and planning. Since lingerie is very unique, we have our traditional sizes of XS to 3X, but then we also have over 40 sizes in bras alone. So with that, it takes a lot of time to plan how much inventory for each size level, again, to ensure every consumer who wants to shop has product readily available for them. Great, thank you very much, Taylor. Uh, Andrea, could you tell about yourself? Where are you working right now? So good, good afternoon, everybody. Uh, can you see me? Can you hear me? Yes, yes. Yes. Uh, first of all, I want to, to, to say thanks to the Professor Pedrini, because during the presentation, I relieved all the journey, the fantastic journey that uh, SMGB has been for me. So thank you. And um, I'm Andrea Miletti. I'm Italian. Um, now I'm working for Samsung. Uh, I work as a demand planner um, in a supply chain uh, division. Uh, so every day I'm working for uh, uh, get the, the, the goods from uh, all our factory uh, here in Italy. Um, I'm in touch every day with um, factory in Asia, in China, Korea, um, Thailand. So uh, as Professor Pedrini said before, uh, the master, it, it has been super useful for me because uh, I have to speak every day with people uh, with a different culture. Uh, they are not Italian, of course. So uh, I'm very happy to be here and uh, it has been a, an important journey for me, this master. Great, thank you very much, Andrea. Uh, now, I would like you to talk a bit, little bit about the Action Project, because uh, as we were saying before, Action Project is a very important part of the master, which is the most uh, practical part. So at the end of courses, we will start with Action Project. And as we were saying before, we have different options of Action Project. And usually students always prefer internship or consultancy project or business plan. So, uh, for example, you two uh, guys have uh, two different kinds of uh, action project. So, Andrea, if you want to start telling yep. about your action project. Yes, uh, about uh, the action project, uh, I did the internship and um, I, I was lucky because uh, um, the, the, the COVID-19 and all the pandemic situation was just at the beginning. So it was super difficult to find some job or um, some position free for, uh, for the job. And um, I, the university, I have to say thank to the university, to SMGB and all the network that S SMGB has, because they give me the opportunity to, 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 to have an internship and to, to do the, um, an interview with Samsung, the first one. So I have to say thank to the university. And then the first one was uh, with the HR of Samsung. And the second one was with uh, my next manager, uh, future manager. And um, so uh, after the internship, the first six months in Samsung as a business analyst, I got a contract. Um, and right now, as I said before, I'm working for, uh, for them. So uh, I have to say every day thanks to the university and to the network of the university in one hand. But on the other hand, I have to say thanks to the, to the approach, to the method that the university has because it's a, a practical, a technical approach, uh, not only like a traditional bachelor where you have to study and then you have to, to do the, the exam, but you have to, to work with, uh, with your teammate, with uh, your classmate. So you have to, to understand their uh, point of view that sometimes is different uh, with you, with your point of view. And so every time uh, I have to say, so uh, the university 
um, learn me uh, how to, to, to work, how to, to, um, to stay in a job position, to work in a multinational company. So that's my, my experience. Great, that's really great to hear and we wish good, uh, you good luck. So mm, thank, thank you, Andrea. Uh, Taylor, could you tell about your action project? So we had internship and you had business plan, right? Yes. Um, so a big reason why I chose to do business plan, besides the pandemic and everything being complicated, um, was also because I really wanted to be able to do an action project that I could tailor specifically to me and the industry that I wanted to be in, which was fashion. Um, so for my business plan, um, I was able to deep dive into every aspect of fashion and what goes into a company. So running like the financials and market analysis and how are you going to market it to your consumers? Who are your consumers? All those details. Um, and I got to work with a great mentor professor, um, Anna Fella. She was very, very helpful throughout the way for every time I had questions of something that I wasn't an expert in. It's not something, you know, marketing is not my job function. But she was able to help me formulate how I would go about it for creating my own business. Um, so it really helped me see a broad perspective of what goes into a company and all the details. And now as I'm in my job, I'm working with those different job functions that I had to understand in the business plan. Okay, that's also great. Thank you very much, Taylor. And I would like also you to ask something else. So we were talking about the academic background. So we were saying that people who apply to this master have different academic background. Could you tell us, please, which are your academic background? So where you were studying uh, before this master? Andrea? Yeah. I'm, I got a bachelor in uh, business economics, uh, so my career path starts with uh, an economics. Uh, okay. in an economics. Uh, <laughs> so uh, I, I continue with, uh, with SMGB. So I'm not an engineer too. <laughs> 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 okay. Designer or something like that. You are more classic. <laughs> yeah, I'm more classic. Oh, yeah, I can okay. say that I'm more classic. <laughs> Taylor, what about you? Um, I am also not an engineer. <laughs> um, I studied fashion business management in New York. So it was very specialized and that's part of the reason why I loved the idea of this master was for me to be able to take a step back again and see a lot of aspects of yes. companies and stuff since I was so niche in fashion before. Okay. Thank you. So I have another question, <laughs> last question for you. And uh, as we were saying before, the master, it's not only about knowledge and studying and courses. So it's, al it's also about the human experience. And I would like to ask you, what do you think are the best uh, uh, aspects of this master? So do you think that it, it was difficult for you or it was, uh, as we were saying, very demanding? Uh, are you still in contact also with other students? So what do you think about it? Can I start or? Yes, Taylor? of course. Okay. So uh, I have to be honest, uh, as, Pedrini, as the professor Pedrini said, it's a very demanding master. Uh, it's a full time master. So if you have to, to stay focused on that uh, every day, every day, even on the weekend, uh, you don't have free time. But at the same time, uh, you have a class that work with you. So a lot of people, 30 people or uh, something like that, they work with you. And so it's a very demanding master. But at the same time, on the other hand, uh, there are a lot of people from all over the world, as you mentioned, and it, it was like uh, a risico. So we had, we had people from India, we have people like Taylor from New York. Um, so this is, I think that the human side of the master, um, it's worth a lot. Because uh, right now, I have, uh, I have to be honest, I have a network that is uh, from all over the world. I have friends that are Indian friends. I have friends from, uh, from America like Taylor. I have friends from Serbia because there was a lot of people from Serbia. So I think that this is the one of the value because it's not the only one, but I think that is one of the most important value that the master uh, give to, to, to us, like me and Taylor. So that's my point. Okay, so it's true that it's really demanding, but it works. Yeah, yeah <laughs> Taylor. Absolutely. What about you? What do you think? Um, I would agree that it's demanding. I think a big part of that too is so many of the courses you work in group projects, which is great 
but it takes a bit of time to work everybody's schedules together and find time to actually sit down and work on the projects. Um, but that's what, what's great about it is getting to work and see how everybody thinks differently in projects and really get all those different perspectives. Um, I think the classmate part of it was very important. Um, I'm still waiting for Andrea to come visit me. <laughs> but um, everyone in the master, I think we had a very close knit group. We loved hanging out on the weekends and, you know, going different places and texting in our group chat. Um, and I'm still close with some of the people from the master today. So it's really a pleasure for me to to hear that and yes i i believe that um, this master provides you uh, something more than just academic knowledge okay so for the moment i don't have other questions for you but i can't leave you to stay till the end because sure. maybe the guests have some question for you okay sure. Sure. Thank, thank you very much guys yes, you thank you thank you for sharing your experience So, uh, after listening to the uh, experience uh, of our uh, ex of our alumni, uh, now we would like to dis to talk about more uh, the practical details of this master. Uh, so, the master uh it's um, let's say an investment for your your future career so uh as you maybe know the uh, tuition fee for this master is uh, 1100 euros uh, which are um, split in four different uh, installments the first installment it's uh, of uh, 3000 euros and you will pay it at the confirmation so after the admission uh you will have to pay the first uh, installment installment. Uh, we can provide you uh, tuition waivers uh, and discounts both uh, for Italian students and international students. And uh, they are uh, based on merit and you can see all the uh, criteria for the, uh, the scholarships on the website. So it basically uh, they are based uh, on the uh, grade uh, grades and also on your, uh, for example, certification of language and um, more. And uh, regarding the uh, tuition waivers, uh, we have some scholarships still available, but of course, uh, the sooner you apply, the the most chance to get, uh, you have most uh, most chance to to get the the scholarship. And we also want to remind you that uh, for all the uh, uh, all the students who studied in uh, University Cattolica and they are part of the alumni community, uh, there is the 5% of uh, discount. Um, and uh, regarding the application, here you can see that there are two different uh, deadlines for application. Uh, the first deadline is uh, for international students. Uh, for international students, the deadline for the application is uh, at the end of June, so 30 June. While for Italian students, uh, it's a mm, little bit later, so at the end of September, 30 uh, September. And um, about the application, uh, as you may know, there are two uh, different um, portals for applying. Uh, one is for international students and one for Italian students. Uh, so uh, the application is online and uh, the students who uh, the students with international bachelor they should apply on uh, UC, uh, UCSC international portal uh, while the uh, while the Italian students with uh, Italian bachelor uh, they should apply on the Italian uh, portal. When you apply, you have to uh, apply all your documents. So the bachelor, your CV, motivation letter, uh, reference letter, ID document, photo, and uh, um, tax code for uh, Italians. We will collect all your documents. We will evaluate your documents. And if you are, um, if we decide that you are um, uh, eligible for uh, this master, we will invite you for the uh, selection interview, which will be via Teams online. And after the interview, uh, you will be uh, admitted. And as we were saying before, uh, at the admission, you will pay the first uh, uh, installment. 
Um, so here, the last slide is for all the contacts. So uh, you can send an email uh, to me. I will answer to you to Altis Admissions. Uh, and for international students, there is also uh, another email for all, uh, all other questions. So, um, Alessia or Matteo, do you want to add anything at this point? Uh, no, personally, well, I, I have nothing to add, okay. actually, but I think uh, we can give um, some time for any question, the, yes, the participant app, maybe. Thank you. Matteo, do you have something to add? No, I wanted just to say thank you to Taylor and Andrea, because I think yeah. that, that they g gave very fresh perspective, and also thank you that you stressed that it's demanding, okay, because I always say that it's demanding, because it, this is true, okay? But you survive it, guys. So it's, 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 it's yes, it's we don't want to survive. Imagine not too much. Okay? Survive. <laughs> yeah, we are still alive. Yes. Right. <laughs> so, any question? Don't be shy. It's uh, the first move on SMGB program. <laughs> Hi. Nice Hi. to meet you. I'm Mike Michele from Italy. Uh, do you hear me? Yes. Yes. Can I ask two things? First of all, do you think you will be able to do classes in Milan from September or uh, still uh, online classes? Uh, if I want, I can reply. Okay. Uh, uh, I don't know if we can be in class or not. Okay. If the the situation go ahead as is going now, so it seems that we have the good signals. Uh, we will be in class for sure. Okay. But if you open the Corriere della Sera, they had, we have a news right now that we have five days of quarantine from people from the UK. Okay. So basically, the situation is seems under control. Okay. But we have some signal that is quite strange. But if it's possible, as it seems it will be to be in class, we want to be in class. Okay. If I have to give you a likelihood, I think that right now 95 percentage of probability to be in class. Okay, it depends on the on on the policies we have from the government, not from us. Okay, if everything is going in the right way, so it seems that we will close the emergency period at the end of July, and in September we will have our classes as we had until uh, to right now. Right now, our students are in class, okay? Okay, thanks. And the other question is, does the degree has any value abroad? Because, for example, in the other countries, I mean, because, for example, the course that I'm doing right now, that are the three years in um, Università Cattolica, they don't have any value abroad. They are not recognized abroad in the other countries as Germany, French, or sorry, USA. What is the, sorry, what is the, the, the program you are following now? Economics and management. Uh, that in so Italian is, economy, is in Italian, Economia e Gestione Aziendale. Okay. It's not the one in English. Not that one in English? No. Okay. Uh, I believe that, I'm sorry, Michele, I believe that you are not very, very right right now, okay? Because... When you took your exam, you have a CTS, that are uh, European credits, okay? It means that these credits could be converted in all the countries of at least of Europe, okay? And the title you got at the end of your program will be recognized as a, as a bachelor, as we recognize bachelor from abroad, okay? If you want, we can have a, a meeting together. I can explain you everything, but I believe you are a little bit wrong on that, okay? When you, add, when you add your program, that it, it will be recognized. Then maybe you are looking for some master that has something different than a bachelor. That is possible, okay? okay perfect. But this master gives you a title that is recognized uh, abroad. Thank you. That is Taylor is from you from United States. Yeah, and for it to be recognized, you just have to go through one additional step, depending on your country, to get it legalized. But it's it's simple. Perfect. Thank you. Other question? If you want, you can up. If you can turn on the microphone, or we have also the chat as you like. 
Michele, you have the microphone and it is switch off. Sorry. Do you suggest to do the exam, the admission test, as soon as possible or to wait a little bit? Because as you know, for the end of July, we will get the graduation of the university for the other two years. To be honest, this choice is up to you, okay? Yeah. But you have to know that more you... If you wait, the risk you have is that we have too many applications, okay? That is the risk, okay? Because we the, the way by which we work is, the, is this. When we have one, one application, we focus on the application, we have interviews, we assess the student, try to understand two things. First, if the idea the student have of the master is coherent with the idea of the master. So we don't want to have students in our master that are looking for something different, okay? First. Second, we have to assess if you have the minimum knowledge, skills, uh, and criteria to take the master in a successful way, okay? Once we have these two things, so your expectations are in line with the, the master, you have the basic things that we believe are useful to take the master, you are admitted, okay? And okay. basically on, on a, a temporary, chrono, chron, chronologically way, okay, sorry. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Okay, I believe we don't have other questions. Unless yep. you, do you want to have yeah. some yeah. final remarks or something like that? No, just uh, uh, keep the time you you need to decide for this investment and then uh, go ahead with the application because uh, as suggested Professor Pedrini, the, f the first you move uh, uh, and the better it is because you keep the place on the class. Let me say thanks for being here till the end with us and thanks obviously to Andrea and Taylor for their contributions and Hope to see you on uh, November in uh, the, the, the welcome day. Thank okay. you, too. Thank you, too. Thank, Thank you. you. Bye. Thank you, Andrea. Thank you, Taylor. Ciao. See Thank you. you. See you.